In this problem, we're told how does the number of atoms in a 21.5 gram gold ring compare to the number in a silver ring of the same mass? So what we're going to be doing in this problem is basically finding the number of atoms in the gold ring and the silver ring, and we're going to be dividing, and that's going to go ahead, us, uh, go ahead and give us, or that's going to basically compare them. So how are we going to do this? So the first thing we want to do is find the number of moles, and that's going to allow us to find the number of atoms. So the number of moles you need to know is the mass, right? In this case, it's going to be 21.5 for both of them. Then you divide by the molar mass, and that's dependent on the type of material. In this case, the molar mass of gold, 196.97 grams per mole, and the molar mass of silver is 107.87 grams per mole. And these are just values you can look up on the internet, or they're probably in your textbook too. And so uh, there's another thing you need to know if you want to find the number of atoms, right? Because we want atoms, not number of moles. So you're just going to take uh, Avogadro's number, which is this right here, 6.023 times 10 to the 23, multiplied by the number of moles that we find. That's going to give us the number of atoms. And so uh, that's what we're going to do. So let's just start. So NS, I'm going to, or NG is the number of moles in the gold ring. So 21.5, right, which is the mass. It's the same for both. And then we divide by the molar mass uh, for gold because this is the gold ring. So it's going to be 196.97. So basically go ahead and do this. 21.5 uh, divided by 196.97. And what you're going to get is that it equals point. 10915, uh, we'll just say. And then let's go ahead and do the silver. So it's going to be 21.5 divided by silver's molar mass, which is 107.87. So plug that in 21.5 divided by 107.87. And so you're going to get it equals 0 0.19931. So these are going to be the number of moles. So keep that in mind. And then now what we're going to want to do is find, since we have the moles, we're going to convert into atoms. So for this step, you actually don't have to do it because we're just taking a ratio, right? We're just going to take uh, the number of gold, which in this case would be this amount, right? This is the number of moles for the gold ring, and then this is the number of moles for the silver ring. Because we're just multiplying by the same number, but I'm just going to go ahead and do that because they tell us to. So just take the number of moles, multiply by this number, so it's going to be... 0 0.10915 and then you multiply by 6.023 times 10 to the 23 and so if we go ahead and do that 0 0.10915 times 6.023 times 10 to the 23 so if you go ahead and do that what you're going to find is it equals 6.57 times 10 to the 22, and then this is atoms now. So let's go ahead and do this one right here. So 0 0.19931, and then 6.023 times 10 to the 23. So 0 0.19931 times 6.023 times 10 to the 23. And so when you go ahead and do that, you're going to get 1.22, or sorry, 1.2 times 10 to the 23 in atoms. So this is the number of atoms in the silver, and then this is gold. And so what they're wanting to do is just compare them. So basically, we're just going to take the gold, number of atoms in the gold, and then divide by the number in the silver. So keep in mind, this was gold, and then this was silver. So you just want to do 6.57 times 10 to the 22 and then divide by 1.2 times 10 to the 23. And so keep in mind, I rounded for this. So our answers might be a little bit different, but it's basically the same thing. So 6.57 times 10 to the 22. And then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and divide that by 1.2 times 10 to the 23. And so what you're going to find is that it equals 0.5475. I'm just going to round, so 0.548, we'll say. And then keep in mind what this is. This is the number of moles gold for each mole silver. So say uh, moles gold for each, sorry about my handwriting, mole silver. But yeah, you get the idea. So this right here, they just say compare it, so that's what I think what we should do. So this right here is basically just the ratio between them. But yeah, so this right here is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.